All right, Coach, just want to start with a little opening statement and then we'll open Yeah, up. I think, you know, excited, obviously, to A, to get the chance to play, and B, I think, you know, for us, it was really kind of a, a team effort and got a chance to kind of see everyone and all of our new players, and so um, just happy with the effort. I mean, I think definitely there's things that we are going to look to improve upon, but I think, you know, it was a great, great chance to play and um, just happy for the opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. It seemed like they... Uh, we're keeping it pretty close in the first half there. You don't really expect that from an NAI opponent where you're watching nervously a little bit? Or you um, just know I mean, what, we've watched some of their games. They obviously played Nevada pretty close, lost by one. Um, I do think, you know, they're a solid team, and we knew, like, they're not going to just roll over. You know, they're excited, obviously, to come in and play. You know, they're kind of making a tour and playing a bunch of D1 schools, so I think they feel like they have that potential to play with those, with those schools, and they're excited about the opportunity to play too. So um, we knew that they weren't. it wasn't going to be – easy by any means. Um, I think defensively, you know, we weren't great to start the game. And so that was something we really talked about was just like sticking to our fundamentals on defense and um, playing the way we play and, and not worrying so much about, you know, what they're doing or how things are going in that direction. But I really tried to kind of focus more on us. Yeah, Coach, you only uh, had nine points in the second quarter, eight in the third quarter for, for William Dessup. Can you talk about what changed? Um, during those quarters to really lock things down defensively? Yeah, well, we actually, I mean, at halftime, Haley went through basically all of their scores, who was getting scored on, what we were giving up, and it was really just a lack of, um, you know, like I said, fundamentals, the things that we do, you know, giving up middle drives, not cutting off the baseline, no help side, um, not, not defending the post like we usually do. So um, really it was just a focus on that, you know. If you want the opportunity, like everyone was going to get an opportunity, if you want to keep stay on the court, then you got to do the things that keep you on the court. And so that was really, I think, kind of what changed. They want to play. <laughs> yeah, with some of that fundamental rust, uh, I'm surprised that you're not playing since November 28th. It's kind of having a couple of Yeah, I, I mean, I think some of it is obviously, um, you know, we have a young team. We have a lot of newcomers. We haven't had a lot of games under our belt yet. And so I, I do, I think there's just, this year has been really unique in, in that regard. And so I, I think it is going to take a little bit of time for this group. Um, it's fun to see kind of different lineups. I do think we have some really great lineups, and now I think it's figuring out, like I told them in there, you know, who's best with who and, and where we're most productive. But I do. I think, you know, obviously it's December, and, and we've only played two games now, so it's just a different year. Yeah. How hard is it to evaluate that, that kind of talent? Obviously, when you lose a bucket and other players like that, you want to find ways to evaluate and just develop talent. But how hard is it when you, you, know, you have long spurts between games like that? You don't get to see that a lot of yeah. competition recently. Right, I think for them, for this group, I mean, they've stayed so positive, which has been awesome to see. You know, we've had some quarantines, we've had some positive tests and, and all that, and that's just the nature of the game right now. I mean, everybody's going through it. And so, you know, even if we're good, you don't know what the opponent's gonna be. And so it's really just kind of, you know, just keeping your fingers crossed and hoping things go the way they should. But um, I mean, obviously losing Becca and, and really the seniors that we had last year, you know, we had a great group of seniors. and so. I do think it's going to take a little bit of time. I'm excited about our returners and where they're at, and they're doing a great job. And but obviously we do have a lot of newcomers, and so I think it's it's really creating those habits. And um, you know, same thing we talked about when when I first got here is you have to build the habits, um, the fundamentals that become habits for them. You know, we talked about in the locker room. Once things get crazy, they kind of revert back to what they're used to or what they did in high school or whatever. And so it's really kind of you know taking the time to create those habits. Coach, what was it like to sorry? What was it like to come back um, after that long period of not playing? And how this win, especially with the six game um, home series that you have coming up? Yeah, I mean, we're so excited to be able to play. Honestly, it's it, it just feels like it's been so long. Our girls got here before the school year started, so we've been practicing for so long, and then not having you know you get so excited for a game, and and the Utah get, game gets canceled. You get excited to go to Montana, and that gets canceled, and so. It's really kind of been such an up and down um, emotional year. And so I think they were just really excited to have the opportunity to play today. Um, and you know, I think that's one of the things we talked about is like, even if we get if we get to practice tomorrow, we need to be happy about that. Um, and we need to be excited and we need to bring everything and focus on getting better. What was it like in that, that period of having a positive test and kind of quarantine and that kind of stuff? I know it's obviously it's, no one's ever done this before. So yeah. As a coach, what was that like for you in the, during that? The process. I think the toughest thing is just not seeing them every day and um, you know obviously I, I have a lot of faith in them coming back you know 
we had one day to practice before we played. Um, and I'm okay with that. I think really the tough thing is like just the, the connection part. You know, we're trying to do Zooms and things like that to keep us all on the same page and keep us connected. We did our scouting report over Zoom um, and they did, they really did a great job. But it's just different. Um, we had time in the summer to kind of work on it and prepare a little bit because we really did a lot of Zooms and team building stuff in the summer to try to stay connected. But I think that's the toughest part is just not being able to see them every day. Yeah, Coach, uh, Sharia Garvin had her first double-double receiver today. Um, can you tell us about what she brings to the team uh, yeah. as a newcomer? Sure. Um, she's, Sharita's, she's a player. I mean, she's really good. I think defensively, offensively, I don't even think we've really seen the tip of what she's capable of. Um, so I'm, ex I'm really excited about her. I mean, she's up tempo. She can score at the rim. She can shoot the three. She's a great playmaker. Um, so I, again, I think it's going to be just her getting comfortable and, and back in, into it. She started at Idaho um, and then went and played at junior college. So she's kind of She's seen the big sky a little bit. Um, she's played at the college level, so just excited to have her experience, and I think she's going to be great for us. Yeah. Uh, Coach, what did it feel like to see Sam hit her first <laughs> three-pointers there? It was fun, yeah. We're working on defense. We talk about that, you know. <laughs> for every shot you take, you better make sure you get a defensive stop. Um, no, I mean, uh, yeah, it's been fun having her. Uh, one of the things that I do love about her is her energy. You know, I think she's a great teammate on the bench, and. Um, you know, she's excited, she loves the game, she's into the game, so it's fun, it's fun to have her here. I think Liz, a player like that, obviously, you saw mm -hmm. a couple times last year when we were in that kind of coaching, was a player that's kind of, how would you describe her? She seems kind of gritty on the court, you know. You Liz? Should, yeah, how yeah. would you describe her? Liz is like, she's such a tough matchup, because she, she's surprisingly, like, athletic, and um, she's just, she's tough, she's strong, she finishes so well, as you saw, like, that's what we see every day in practice, I mean, you can, you can pressure her, she can score on a big, she can score on, on a guard. Um, so I think, I mean, she's gonna be a great addition for us. And I think what you saw today is probably what we're gonna see all year. Um, she just, she's a great scorer, she really is. Yeah. And she's, she lo like you can tell she loves to play. Yeah, yeah she's very competitive. Probably one of our toughest kids. <laughs> well, with her and Maddie on the same team, obviously, I don't say they're different players, but yeah. they, they just, I guess they behave differently. Maddie obviously being around the perimeter, and yeah. Liz not afraid, she doesn't back down. Yeah. With those two players, that, that kind of, those tendencies that you have, how does that kind of round out your team? Um, obviously it's nice because they, you know, we do have Maddie on the perimeter. She's a driver, she can shoot the three. Um, Liz can post up. She's, Liz, is, Liz is hard to match up with, which is really nice. And for us on the other side, like she started this game because it was more of a guard lineup. And so we have that versatility with her too. She can guard a post, she can guard a guard. Um, so I, I mean, I think it brings a lot for us. I think they're really good at playing together, which is nice to have too. You know, they've been, they've played together all summer. They play together every summer. They spend a lot of time together. So um, they know each other's game, which I think helps us a lot. Uh, Coach, last thing I want to ask you mm -hmm. is just before Grand Canyon on Saturday, um, any things you're hoping to improve on from this outcome or what are you looking forward to about GCU? Yeah, no, I mean, GCU's, they're really good. It's going to be obviously a battle for us. Um, I think transition-wise, we want to be fast, um, but we also they're an up-tempo team, so we might have to slow things down a little bit. Um, it's going to be you know containing the drive. Um, I think just all we just need to get better defensively and just really like lock in and, and be able to control things from it from the defensive side. You know, we struggle to score at UVU, but I just. I don't think that's us. I think for us, it's got to be a defensive thing. We have to be focused on the defensive end. Yeah, how does it feel just even one of you just being back on the court for the first time in a couple weeks? Oh man, it's so refreshing, especially to come out like we did and play great defense and push the ball. Like it's just a breath of fresh air. Yeah, I agree. I think it's nice to like get to play other teams. You know, you practice against <clears throat> yourselves for months and then you get to go out and play another team so I just think it's a lot of fun, a lot of energy. Yeah, well, kind of, I don't say rusty, is it the first quarter <laughs> that kind of stuff? I mean, there's some turnovers and some of the shots and that kind of stuff. How did you guys bounce back from that and what, what was it that kind of keeps you going into the, the second and third quarter? Um, I think for me, when I'm trying to lead the team, it's not having like back-to-back -back turnovers or back-to-back -back mistakes. So whenever we have a turnover, it was really focusing up on defense and getting the steals like uh, we forced a lot of turnovers for the other team. Yeah, I agree, and I think <clears throat> tempo is a big thing. Like we talk about it a lot. I think when things start getting 
chaotic when you start having like those back-to-back -back turnovers. I think like if you can control the tempo and slow it down, know when to speed it up, I think that really helps just like get pace of the game and control it. Yeah, I mean, this is the first time for both of you playing as a, a T-bird uh, on this court <laughs> uh, in front of the home fans. Um, obviously, it's not a usual season, though, to have to play without fans. What does it feel like for you guys to, to be here in Cedar City getting to represent the team, even in a, an unusual year? I mean, for me, I feel like I should have been here my whole college career. Like, <laughs> this is, like, perfect fit for me. I love the coaches and the teammates and the whole system. It's great. Same, yeah, same. Like, <clears throat> I love the coaches. I love the team. I wish that it would have been where I came first, too. <laughs> I just love it. Yeah, Shruti, you had a, a, a big game today with a double-double. Beast um, mode. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Lizzie had a big game as well. Um, what does it feel like for you and your first performance to really be able to go establish yourself in front of these fans uh, and they get to see you really at your best in this game? Um, well, I think I could have done a lot of things better. I think <laughs> I turned the ball over a little bit too much. Um, but it was nice. It's like it's nice to get out and play another team, uh, knock some of the rust off. Um, so, but I just I think there's always room for improvement. But it was a, it was fun. Place a handful of months ago. Yeah. Uh, it's coming to this this team that kind of stuff. But with, obviously, playing with Maddie, there's other returners too. How do you feel like you fit uh, now, kind of knowing what this team is now? Right. Um, I feel like the coaches are just really <coughs> smart with um, playing all the strengths to each individual. Like um, with my other team, <laughs> they didn't really like utilize me in the post. So, I mean, I fit better and flowed better with um, the mismatch and they really take advantage of th that mismatch and I, I just love it. Yeah. And as you kind of go through obviously coming here, was there was that the main reason why the Chicago coaching staff kind of seeing what they're doing that kind of stuff and saying okay, like, I love you part of that? Yeah, um, just everything that I heard from all the players there, it just seemed like what I'd been looking for my whole college career and they're just so logical and Everything just kind of makes sense here, and it just clicks. So, yeah, and I guess both of you, I mean, obviously being like joining a team that has a handful of players, but I mean, Maddie, obviously, but also Rita, a couple of players too that have been a part of this program. You guys are kind of helping round out this team. How do you feel like you round out this team yourself? <laughs> um, I think we just, with this team, I think we do a good job of like feeding off of each other. And like if one person scores, the other person is cheering them on and, and pointing. And um, I think for me personally, I do well rounding out the team by um, banging in with the posts and stuff and, and the strength and getting what they want. So. <laughs> no, I agree. I think we have really good team chemistry. Like I think we mesh really well together, like off the court and on the court, just the way that we play together. I think that like, for a team with so many new people, I feel like we just click really, really good, which I feel like is kind of rare. Um, and I think the coaches have done a good job like adjusting to that too, like phenomenal. Um, I think for me personally, like tempo is a big thing. I think like being older and just having like, I mean, technically this is kind of like my first time playing division one aside from like the few games I played at U of I, but it does help like having more games under your belt and just getting that like, uh, Experience. Yeah. <laughs> so I think like that's something that I bring, just like the tempo, like slow, being able to slow down and speed up, things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you guys had to take that break um, uh, with the pause and activities and things. Just curious, what's it like as a player to try and stay locked in during that time where you're not practicing and things, and then to have to only have one practice and then come back to play? What's it like for you guys? Um, for me, it just makes the win all that sweeter because. We're battling against all these circumstances. We don't know if people get COVID or people don't. Like, um, so it takes a special type of character to be able to get these wins. Yeah, and I think like it's when stuff like that happens, you just have to like it's bigger than just yourself. And I think that like you have to be willing to put yourself aside for how you feel about things and just do it for your team. So when you get back, you just have to come focused and come ready because you never know if you're going to get to play or practice the next day. And I just think that like. Like she said, it's about character, like just the selflessness, selflessness, and just being able to do it for your team. 
what do you guys do during like a, when you pause all this stuff? Do you guys just hang at home? Do you guys do workouts that kind of stuff? Or? Cry, no. <laughs> Be bored. <laughs> no, we work out. We we get um, strength workouts uh, sent to us and um, warm suit <laughs> conditioning. Yeah, you can try to as much as you can. Yeah, I didn't Since know. Since it's like, freezing here. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know if like, you guys shut down, like if you had to just stay inside and just like don't go anywhere and that kind of thing. So. There were some people that were immune, so they got to work out. Mm -hmm. I'm immune. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, after seeing today's performance where you guys are at, what are some things that you feel that you as a person and the whole team as a group um, need to improve on um, in preparation for GCU? Turnovers, especially. Like, um, they were just. Uh, off of bad little foolish mistakes, like off dribbling and stuff. And um, if we clean that up, we can we can score every possession. Like if we just execute the plays and no turnovers, like we'll blow teams out of the water. Yeah, I agree. I think like there's a lot of talent within the team. And I think as a coach, just put everybody in good positions to score in different ways. So I just think like. For us being able to execute like cutting the turnovers and then i think in transition too i think we have a good opportunity to like run a lot of teams out of the gym i think that we do well in transition so i think like we can work on improving that 